people. We're currently at the airport heading to Fort Lauderdale to start our road trip to the Keys. Yeah. trying to drive to Key Largo and we just hit some major major traffic we're not moving at all but it's okay but why is it okay babe? can you talk can you talk because <laughs> now we have the chance to eat the Cuban food that we got it's like hard to eat so since we're stopped I'm just oh, like yeah? stuffing my face <laughs> oh yeah I can't hear you over the sound of food going in your mouth <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to our hotel. This is what, $76 a night gets you in Key Largo, which is great. How cute is this room? Especially since this area is pretty touristy, so you can end up paying a lot for hotels. We're gonna go to this local bakery, like less than a mile away, cruise in our little car with the top down, and we'll catch you at breakfast. Okay guys, so I got a corn muffin, and what they ask you here is if you want it normal, just warmed up, or if they want you to like grill it, which is, they cut it in half, put it on it, and then throw it on the grill, and it's so good. I got corn, and it tastes like, thanks even cornbread, but better. And then Alex got the banana nut one, same thing, bro. Best muffins we've ever had. <laughs> We made a quick pit stop at this cute little square called Village Square in Isla Morada. We grabbed some coffee for the road. Resort here in Marathon. This resort is gorgeous. It's right next to the Seven Mile Bridge, which is like the longest and prettiest stretch of the highway, so it's beautiful. We're about to go grab some bikes and bike through there, but we're only staying here tonight, and that's because it's Thursday. Every other day, especially the weekend, is a lot more expensive. As you can see, it's freaking gorgeous. We got greeted with champagne and this one. All right, guys, we came down to the little cabanas over here, just relaxing. This resort does such a good job of making it feel like we're right on the beach. It's so relaxing. Yeah, guys, so in the Keys, there's actually no beaches. It's all man-made beaches. So what you see right here is all the efforts of the hotel. I think they do a great job of making it feel like an actual beach. Cuban 
coffee because, you know, Cuban coffee is the best. So we got un cortadito for Alex and then I got café con leche. We got dos empanaditas, croquetas, and then we ordered some fish. What the fuck? Are we back in Houston? What's up guys, we made it to Key West. We just got to our little hotel for the night. It's called Semi-Tool Fort. It's right in the middle of downtown Key West. We're staying just here tonight and it was such a scenic, scenic drive. It's gorgeous. Okay guys, so this is the name of our Q Hotel. It's adorable because it's in the middle of downtown Key West, so it's easy for us to just park our car, walk to wherever we need to go, and they've also just really preserved like the history well in this hotel, so I'm just looking forward to exploring Key West. Hey guys, checking back in. So since last time we spoke, we went to this cute bar on the main street of Key West, which is called Duval. We got a couple of drinks, and now we walked over to a little beach over here called Simmonson Beach. Clear water, a lot of fish, we're about to jump in, so. We're gonna close out the day here. All we did was walk around downtown some more, get some dinner, and now we're back in the hotel room because we have early morning tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, guys. It is our last morning here in Key West. We got up early, it's about seven. We're at the Key West Ferry Terminal because we're gonna take a two and a half hour ferry to a national park called Dry Tortugas, and we're gonna spend most of our day there, and then tomorrow we head out. So, see y'all there. What's up guys, we're just walking away from the board right now because drones are actually not allowed. So we're gonna walk away from everybody, throw it up, see you back in a few. Unfortunately, we are out of time here at this gorgeous national park. It's been an amazing five hours here. We explored it all, absolutely loved it. It's by far the prettiest beach in all the US. If you guys have a chance to come here, I would definitely recommend it. See you guys next time.